I think the 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 document is is good at least from the perspective of indigenous peoples because it does uh, recognize that uh, the information system on safeguards uh, should be developed uh, and uh, at the country level and all of the safeguards mentioned in appendix in paragraph 2 of appendix 1 which includes the right the respect for the rights and knowledge of indigenous peoples the conservation of biological diversity and the non-conversion of natural forests into other uses. All of these safeguards are recognized as uh, important and all countries who are doing RED should report on how all these safeguards are being respected and addressed. It also recognized that uh, when creating these uh, syste this, uh, systems, uh, there has to be consideration of national sovereignty and national circumstances, but it's, it also recognizes that international obligations and agreements like the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples should also be uh, respected and recognized. I think it's, it's okay because it reiterated what was contained in the Cancun agreements uh, in terms of the safeguards that need to be addressed uh, and it also uh, uh, clearly says that the country should provide uh, reports on this and they should submit this uh, either in their national communications or any other communication channels that will be established by the conference of parties. So the, the way that it was shaped to ensure that it's, uh, it's designed properly and that the information will contain the comprehensive uh, list of the agreements reached in Cancun and that there is a channel by which the countries are going to report uh, a summary of the information that they have uh, on, on how they are addressing the safeguards is there. I think that's good enough for us. That's a good beginning and we should start working already at the national level to set up this system. I think that there should really be a very strong monitoring system on the ground and indigenous peoples themselves are able to monitor how the governments are implementing all the red plus activities and they are uh, able to be in they, they will be involved their full and effective participation in in assessing how the how the rights are being respected should really be be ensured I think that's the way that the balance can be achieved and of course if it's not being uh, addressed and respected if the rights and uh, uh, traditional knowledge of indigenous peoples for instance are not respected then there should be a mechanism nationally wherein they can raise their uh, grievances and they can uh, they can get uh, correctives if these are very these are lacking